in this case, will be moving to Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Bhutan, Li She, Dr. Lotte Sherry. Please, sir, your remarks and you're very welcome in this forum. Um, thank you, President Carlos, uh, distinguished panelists here, all the viewers uh, on live. Uh, a very good evening from Bhutan. Thank you, President Carlos, for all your leadership and uh, I would say passion on this chapter because uh, I was really impressed to hear you and see your passion during the roundtable discussion on climate change two days back. I need uh, more leaders. Uh, I feel we need more leaders with such passion and be very practical at the same time. In fact, within these two minutes, I really don't know what justice I can do, but I can only share a, a, a major um, initiatives or major vehicles that Bhutan had always been riding on. For us, uh, um, many of you all know that uh, we have our His Majesty's vision enshrined very clearly in our constitution about environment. We have a full article, Article 5 of our constitution is fully dedicated to protecting our environment. And in, in that article, we have five very, very strong sections to highlight uh, the article, article seven, clear, five clearly mandates Bhutan to have at least 60% of the forest uh, country under forest cover for all times to come. And currently we have about 71%. And for your information, almost about 51% of the country is again, separately protected uh, as uh, biological corridors, uh, biodiversity hotspots and national reserves. We have almost 51% of the country uh, uh, legally protected in addition to the constitutional mandate. And then uh, um, as early as 1991, 92, we had started the Environmental Trust Fund, which uh, uh, not, now is recorded as the first environmental trust fund on the planet. And it has been working very well. But at the same time, we also realized that uh, we need to protect, further protect uh, uh, the, the legally protected uh, biological corridors and hotspots that we already have declared. So uh, by uh, 2013, we started working on the Bhutan for Life uh, uh, innovative financing uh, uh, mode. So that now over $100 million project is also working very well so that uh, we can on one side protect uh, our environment at the same time also support and protect the interests of the communities that are settled in those places. So we have uh, um, uh, those initiatives in place. I'm not even mentioning uh, the daily governmental initiatives whereby we have a national flagship program on waste management because uh, we, our principal, His Majesty's vision is to extract as minimum as possible from our nature. And then whatever that goes back must be number one, as less as possible and as naturally friendly as possible. So our uh, national uh, 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 flagship on waste management is principally based on circular economy so that at, as far as possible, we do not produce waste. And whatever waste that is, that, that is produced cannot be used, should be as nature friendly as possible. So those are the little initiatives that uh, little country even though small, even though not very uh, heard of, even though resource constrained, but uh, we have those things in place. And on a very, very lighter note, uh, we had always been guided by the far-sighted visions of our kings. A king who actually prefers a, 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 a green standing tree to a skyscraper. I don't think we have many people on this planet who prefers a tree to a tall building, actually. So we are being governed by a desire of personalities, and we are very happy with that. That's why we go around so happily saying Bhutan is one of very, very few or the only country with carbon negativity right now. We sink uh, Sikusta at least three times more than what we produce. And yet, uh, I assure my friends here and President Carlos that we will not be complacent. We will keep going further. We will keep going further to an extent where Every leaders in the world, every individuals in the world will start preferring forests and trees to concrete jungle. So with this, uh, I thank all the leaders here. And again, once again, repeat uh, uh, my appreciation to President Carlos' passion and uh, uh, practical approach to all this. And thank you very much for your initiative. I am very sure I'll, I'll give you all my support and prayers 
for it to take the shape that you actually envisioned. So thank you very much for this wonderful evening, friends.